putting into the lower end of Rodman Dam <clears throat> into the Oklawaha River. Up above, it's a huge body of water. Down here, it's going to stay kind of narrow, but it is the same body of water. And it's a beautiful spot to put in. All right, let's do it. This, this is the water that feeds into Rodman Reservoir where we've been fishing. It's the Oklawaha River. We've yet to see an alligator, but I'm sure they've seen us. He's a good size to take home. If there's an alligator here, there have to be some really nice big fish, too. I'm zoomed in. He's really very small. He might be four feet long, three and a half feet long. Look at him. He's got a pretty smile. Where's your daddy? Where's your daddy? came to get my lure got stuck in a tree and this guy was watching over it get away, son. Get your lure. see you later little buddy oh he jumped down in the water here he goes bye bye there's a manatee in front of us we're still in the water Let's see if I can't get his image he was huge where'd he go yeah he's out ahead of us we can see the commotion of the water we can't get caught up and we saw his motion I don't know what variety of sunfish that is. It is not a bluegill. Let's see, he really seriously swallowed the hook. All three corners, see how he did yeah, that? Yeah, the, 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 the bait is bigger than he is. And somehow. But he was very, very greedy. <sighs> Hold it up like yeah. First fish of the day, by the way. The only fish today. Teensy weensy blue gun. Here, here we are in Sportsman's Paradise of Florida. World of giant bass. World of giant bass. Multitudinous crappies. And all we can do is catch and, and injure this poor little fishy. You know what? Throw him in the tank. We'll Don't save him for, bait. him for bait. Oh well, folks. That's the best we have to offer today. <laughs> Oh, there's a baby alligator there. You can't see him, but there he is. He's about two and a half, three feet long. Big oh, oh, there's oh. a turtle. Let's just see. Let's just see if we can manage to fish a little bit without. What's that? An alligator just jumped in. Okay. <laughs> We spooked him. That's three alligators we've seen. That's a big boy. He's six or seven feet long. Where'd he go? Oh, there he is. He's six or seven feet long. Hey, buddy. What you be doing? <laughs> Off he goes. That was fun. That was probably another alligator. There's a beautiful turtle. Oh, look at the gator right in front of you. There's an alligator swimming right there with us. We should have kept that fish. We could have fed it to him. That's my brother David, and out past him is that alligator. Can you see it, folks? Gosh, I hope so. That's our fourth alligator. But who's counting? 
David. Why did you let that get away? That was a nice two and a half, three pound bass there. That was fun. Oh, Dave. David. Is it? You are the carp killer. I don't know what it is. I can't see it. That's a big old fighting fish. Yeah, right there. Yeah. Not coming at all. This is the wrong pole and the wrong size. Everything. Are you getting off in those weeds? He's in the weeds, man. Get your boat going. You can't let our one fish get away, man. Longer. All right, stop your motor. Stop your motor. They usually get themselves out if you give them time. They don't want to be in there any more than you do. Let me break the line loose first. That's a big fighting fish, man. Hang on to him. You trying to let him go? Oh, wouldn't that be a bitch? Three times he almost got away. He had to be hooked really good. Okay, where are you? Let me see. Oh, okay. No one here. I want to be able to grab the weeds. Well, that was quite an ordeal. I had to climb down in the water and, and reach in there with a paddle to break loose the weeds. And this guy just floated to the top. He was exhausted by then. Here's a scale. 17, uh, 16 and a half. He's 16 and three quarters. He's actually 17 inches if you if you straighten his tail out. He's a very nice fish. Weigh him. Oh, hurry up, hurry up, hurry up. Get this guy back in the water. He's gotta be three pounds, because he's really fat. Coming to life? Put your hand under his belly and move him that way. Don't don't hold him by the mouth while you're doing that. Like that. Wait, wait. It's just gonna sink now. But don't let him go. There he goes. <laughs> yeah. a tiny little mouth. Yeah, it's a beautiful fish. It's a sunfish. I don't know what species it is. There's so many. I think it's a long-eared. This is the uh, North Floridian long-eared disco perch. fish. Look at his wings. How long they are! It's a beautiful sunfish. Real big. All right, good. Yeah. Take your selfie. We just saw a tiny baby alligator. Came out from the bank. Tiny, tiny. He went down, but they have to come back up. David's still killing fish. We were on our way to the dock to put the boat in. That is a shell cracker. I've never caught a shell cracker. Cracker, you don't cut your shell cracker now. You have the big mouth and the funny eyes. Yes. They're called shell crackers because they have a very powerful jaw that allows them to be able to uh, feed on little crustaceans. They can crush the shells with the inside of their mouth and then they uh, they can eat the little critters. That's a nice looking a fish. Uh, put them in your hand so we can get some perspective. Let's get some perspective here. Ooh, he really is kind of nice size. Boy, he how put up a his fight. Mouth didn't? That's, that's how you know it's a shell cracker as well. There's another word for them. 